You may know Lisa Niemi from her famous marriage to Patrick Swayze. They were married for 34 years before he died in 2009. But have you ever heard of the secrets she kept hidden for so long? Stay tuned as we delve into Patrick Swayze's widow, Lisa Niemi, who is getting candid about life after losing the Dirty Dancing star. She met Patrick at his mother's dance studio. Patrick and Lisa's story began in Houston, Texas, where they met as teenagers at his mother Patsy's dance studio. Lisa recalled their initial encounter during an appearance on the Amy and TJ podcast in April 2024, revealing, We had a little contentious start because he had a kind of reputation as a Casanova. I had a reputation as a bad girl, and we were supposed to stay away from each other. However, she also expressed a deep sense of inevitability about their connection, saying, I knew that something was going to happen between us that was significant, and I had every confidence in every bone that that was going to happen. After completing high school, Patrick made the move to New York City to pursue his dreams, with Lisa following suit after her graduation. Both of them secured coveted spots at the Joffrey Ballet, setting the stage for their shared journey in the world of dance. In 1975, the young couple exchanged vows in marriage when Lisa was merely 19 years old, while Patrick was 23. Their bond deepened as they navigated the challenges and triumphs of their respective careers. Shortly after their wedding, Patrick stepped into the spotlight, replacing John Travolta in the 1978 Broadway production of Grease, a role that further propelled him into stardom. Reflecting on their relationship, Tom Moore, the director of Greece remarked, It was always touching for me to see them together. They were the perfect couple. She and Patrick shared a love of adventure. Patrick and Lisa held licenses as pilots and frequently took to the skies together. Interestingly, she even took on the responsibility of flying her husband to his chemotherapy appointments at Stanford University after he received his pancreatic cancer diagnosis in January 2008. Their residences were situated on a horse ranch near Los Angeles and a larger one in New Mexico. As avid horse lovers, they enjoyed going horseback riding together whenever they could. She rehearsed with Patrick for his performance in Dirty Dancing. When Patrick embarked on one of his iconic roles as Johnny Castle in Dirty Dancing, he turned to his wife for support and guidance. She was there a lot because I depend on Lisa, he revealed in 2007. My most crucial rehearsals were with Lisa in a hotel room. We'd practice over and over and over. Patrick emphasized, Lisa and I have crafted just about every character I've portrayed. You have to understand, we have an ease. I'd been married a long time when I did Dirty Dancing, and it just gave me so much to bring. Beyond assisting him with his acting roles, Lisa was Patrick's partner in numerous other ventures. We've always been a team. We raise horses together, run a music business, and oversee a wildlife preserve together, the Golden Globe nominee shared about Lisa. We have an unspoken language after all these years. She is a star in her own right. Lisa's involvement in Patrick's career extended beyond just being his support system. She actively participated in several of his projects, appearing alongside him in movies like Next of Kin and Steel Dawn. Additionally, Lisa showcased her individual talent in films such as She's Having a Baby and the TV series Super Force. Their creative collaboration didn't stop at acting together. Patrick and Lisa joined forces to write the play Without a Word, which received acclaim, winning six Drama Critics Circle Awards. This theatrical success evolved into One Last Dance, a 2003 film where they shared the screen once more, with Lisa taking on the role of director. Moreover, Lisa ventured onto Broadway, captivating audiences in the 1993 production of Will Rogers' Follies. She directed an episode of Patrick's last show. During Patrick's challenging battle with cancer, he continued to pursue his passion for acting, filming The Beast in Chicago, even while undergoing chemotherapy. Despite the grueling treatment, he remained dedicated to his craft, showing up on set and giving his best performance.
Lisa, recognizing Patrick's determination and talent, decided to join the production as a director, adding her creative touch to the A&E show. Working alongside her husband during such a difficult time proved to be a bright spot for Lisa. Reflecting on their collaboration, Lisa shared with People in 2009, he was fantastic. He had challenges because he was still doing chemo and it wasn't always easy, but he'd suit up and show up. He was always there. Despite his health struggles, Patrick treated the opportunity to work with Lisa on set as an honor. She was married to Patrick until his death in 2009. In 2008, Patrick received the devastating diagnosis of pancreatic cancer, sending shockwaves through his family and fans alike. Despite the grim odds associated with the disease, initially there was a glimmer of hope in his prognosis. His physician, Dr. George Fisher, offered a ray of optimism, stating in April 2008 that Patrick had a very limited amount of disease and he appears to be responding well to treatment thus far. This positive outlook provided a sense of relief to those close to him, including his wife, Lisa. Despite his health challenges, Patrick remained committed to his work, continuing to film his final project, The Beast, even as he underwent chemotherapy. However, on September 14, 2009, the beloved actor succumbed to the disease at the age of 57, leaving behind a legacy that would endure for generations. Reflecting on his final moments, Lisa shared in 2010, I like to think he knew I was there. Despite the overwhelming grief of losing her soulmate, Lisa found solace in the belief that Patrick had found peace having fought with every ounce of strength his body could muster. She described the experience as both overwhelming and clear, recognizing that Patrick had transcended his physical limitations and was now free from pain. She wrote a book with Patrick. Lisa Nimi's journey as an author began in 2009 when she collaborated with her husband, Patrick Swayze, on his memoir, The Time of My Life. In the midst of Swayze's battle with cancer, the couple poured their hearts into recounting their shared experiences, offering readers a poignant reflection on their enduring love and the challenges they faced together. For Lisa, the process of co-writing the memoir served as a bittersweet journey into the past. In an excerpt from the book, she expressed how it provided her with a glimpse into their cherished memories, even as they navigated the uncertainty of Swayze's health. In some ways, getting to do this book gave me a passport into the past, she wrote. It couldn't elongate my time with him, but it did show me that some of those bumps I wished I could get rid of don't look so bad when we keep coming out on the other side. In an audiobook recording, Patrick expressed his unwavering determination, stating, Whenever someone asks me what my legacy is, I say the same thing. I'm not finished yet. His words echoed the resilience and fighting spirit that defined both his career and his battle with cancer. Following Swayze's passing in 2009, Lisa found solace in sharing her own story of love, loss, and resilience. In 2012, she released her second book, Worth Fighting for Love, Loss, and Moving Forward, which delved into her life during Swayze's final years and her journey of healing in the aftermath of his death. In Worth Fighting For, Lisa opened up about the profound impact of loss and the transformative effect it had on her. I tell you, I am a different person now, one who has been thrown into the fire and forged, she shared, reflecting on the profound changes she underwent. Through her writing, Lisa hopes to offer comfort and insight to others grappling with grief. Speaking to Extra, she emphasized the potential for growth and connection in the face of loss. All of us are faced with loss, and there are incredible gifts that can be yielded from the situation, she said. It can bring people closer than ever before, and in learning how to die, you really learn how to live. Both memoirs struck a chord with readers and resonated deeply, earning them a place on the prestigious New York Times bestseller list. She is an advocate for pancreatic cancer patients, 
When Patrick Swayze received the devastating diagnosis of pancreatic cancer in 2008, Lisa Niemi found herself thrust into a world she never imagined. Reflecting on those tumultuous times on her website, she admitted, I didn't know much about the disease, but he did, and he said to me, I'm a dead man. The harsh reality of the disease's severity hit hard, prompting Niemi to become a fervent advocate for raising awareness about pancreatic cancer. Following Swayze's passing a year later, Niemi joined hands with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network to share her poignant journey alongside her husband's battle with the illness. In a heartfelt video, she recounted Swayze's unwavering determination to fight against the odds. He's Swayze used to overcoming, and as he said to his doctor, show me the enemy and I'll fight them, she shared. By bravely sharing their story, Niemi aimed to inspire others to speak out and shed light on the urgent need to find a cure. Niemi's dedication to the cause persists, with her active involvement in supporting pancreatic cancer initiatives. Each year, she rallies individuals to participate in the Purple Stride Walk, a symbolic gesture honoring those affected by the disease. In April 2023, she took to her Instagram account to share a snapshot of participants joining the walk across the nation. Her caption echoed a message of hope, courage, and strength, encapsulating the spirit of PanCan's tireless efforts. Through her ongoing advocacy and involvement, Niemi ensures that Swayze's legacy lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the fight against pancreatic cancer. She remarried in 2014. After the loss of her beloved husband, Patrick Swayze, Lisa Niemi found love again with jeweler Albert DePrisco, whom she met through mutual friends. Their romance blossomed over a year and a half before DePrisco proposed, and the couple tied the knot in a picturesque ceremony in 2014 set against the backdrop of Palm Beach, Florida. Reflecting on her journey of finding love anew, Lisa shared her sentiments with people in 2014, emphasizing that her love for Patrick never wavered, even as she embraced a new chapter with Albert. She admitted, I have to say that the love I have for Patrick was never in conflict or competition with my feelings for Albert. That is until Albert asked me to marry him. Her decision to remarry prompted moments of introspection as she grappled with the idea of starting anew while cherishing the memories of her past. Albert knew I still love Patrick and would always love him, and told me, and I know you love me, and I love you, Lisa recounted, revealing the unwavering support she received from her now husband. Encouraged by Albert's understanding and steadfast love, Lisa embarked on a journey of self-discovery, gradually finding solace in the idea of embracing a future filled with love and companionship. Panion, she got a lot of flack for marrying after his death. Lisa Nimi Swayze, the widow of the legendary actor Patrick Swayze, recently appeared on the Amy and TJ podcast offering poignant reflections on her enduring bond with the late star. Their love story began in Houston, Texas, where Lisa, then 15, and Patrick, 19, crossed paths at his mother's ballet school. Little did they know that this serendipitous encounter would mark the beginning of a lifelong journey together. Despite the significant age gap, their connection was undeniable, and they embarked on a journey that would span decades. Their marriage, which commenced in 1975, stood as a testament to their unwavering commitment to each other. For 34 years, they navigated life's highs and lows hand in hand, creating cherished memories and overcoming challenges together. However, their enduring love story took an unexpected turn with Patrick's tragic passing in 2009, leaving a void that could never be filled. In the aftermath of her loss, Lisa found solace in the memories they shared and the profound love they had for each other. Yet, as she embarked on a new chapter of her life, finding love again with her second husband, Albert DePrisco, in 2014, she encountered unexpected scrutiny from some of Patrick's devoted fans. Despite their love and understanding, 
Lisa found herself facing criticism and hostility from those who couldn't comprehend her capacity to love again. Reflecting on this challenging period, Lisa shared her frustrations on the podcast, acknowledging the hurtful comments and unwarranted judgments she faced. I got a lot of flack, and it's like, how dare you, she revealed, recounting the harsh criticism she received. There are some pretty rabid Patrick fans out there who think I'm evil, just don't like me because I was married to him. Despite the adversity she faced, Lisa remained resolute in her conviction and steadfast in her love for Patrick. Their bond transcended the confines of time and space, leaving an indelible mark on her heart. As she reminisced about their early days, she fondly recalled the magic they shared on the dance floor. We looked in each other's eyes and it was like, bang. This incredible magic happened, she reminisced. We pretty much stayed dance partners for the next 34 years. Lisa reflected on the early days of her relationship with Patrick Swayze, revealing that it wasn't all smooth sailing from the start. Recalling their initial encounters, she shared, It was really interesting because we had a little contentious start. He had kind of a reputation as a Casanova. We were supposed to stay away from each other. Despite the initial hurdles, Lisa sensed a profound connection between them. I knew before we were done with the dance that something was going to happen between us that was significant. I didn't know it would culminate in a very long-term marriage. I was only like 16 at the time, she added. Contrary to his reputation, Lisa emphasized that Patrick wasn't a womanizer, but rather a gentleman. He was so all-American handsome, talented at everything, it just kind of made you sick, she chuckled. However, she acknowledged that his perfection sometimes drew resentment from others. And a lot of people didn't like him because of that. He was too perfect. Their private moments together were filled with dance, but Patrick hesitated to dance with Lisa in public for fear of attracting attention. Tragically, after receiving his cancer diagnosis in July 2008, Patrick confided in Lisa, saying, I'm a dead man. Despite their optimism, they faced the harsh reality of the prognosis. We always called ourselves optimistic realists, because we knew in all likelihood how this was going to turn out. But we held out that he would be the one to make it through it, because miracles do happen, Lisa recalled. Following Patrick's passing, Lisa eventually found love again with Albert DePrisco, whom she met about three years after his death. Reflecting on her enduring connection with Patrick, she shared, Patrick is still with me. I still have a relationship with him. He's physically not here, but every day he's with me, and I feel him there. Despite falling in love with Albert, Lisa found that her love for Patrick remained unchanged. What was really unusual was, I really fell in love with Albert DePrisco, and it didn't affect... It was interesting to see how it didn't affect my love for Patrick one bit, she concluded. Upon realizing the depth of her loneliness and the void in her life, Lisa found solace in Albert's presence. I didn't realize just how lonely I was until much, much later, because I'm a buck-up kind of girl. I can take it. This is not loneliness I'm feeling. I'm dealing with grief. But it was so wonderful when he came into my life, she admitted. When Albert proposed, Lisa was initially taken aback, feeling a sense of hesitation. However, a profound dream and a heartfelt conversation with her partner helped alleviate her concerns. I was like, oh shit, she recalled, eliciting laughter from her interviewers. I felt like I was already married in a way. Addressing her lasting love for Patrick and concerns about moving on, Albert reassured her with understanding and acceptance. No, I know you love him, and I know you love me. And I'm here to love you now, he reassured her. Despite the challenges and misconceptions, Lisa remains steadfast in her connection with Patrick. Patrick's still with me. I still have a relationship with him. It's just, he's physically not here. Every day he's with me and I feel him there, she affirmed with a smile. Lisa Niemi says he came to her in a dream, 
and gave his blessing for her to remarry. During a heartfelt conversation with Amy Robach and T.J. Holmes, Lisa Niemi, the widow of Patrick Swayze, shared intimate details about her ongoing connection with her late husband. Patrick's still with me. I still have a relationship with him, she confided, expressing the enduring presence of Swayze in her life. Every day he's with me, and I feel him there. In the latest episode of T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach's podcast, Lisa delved into her journey of love and loss, particularly her decision to remarry after Swayze's passing. She revealed a poignant dream she had during the time when she and her second husband, Albert, were considering marriage. I actually had a dream when we were looking at getting married, she recounted. In this dream, she vividly experienced a moment of connection with Patrick, almost as if he had been resurrected. And I was in this courtyard, and when I see him in my dreams, he can never speak. But I can understand what he was saying, she explained. In the dream, Patrick approached Lisa, enveloping her in a comforting embrace. Overwhelmed by the surreal encounter, Lisa found herself torn, feeling unable to proceed with her plans to marry Albert. I can't marry Albert now because you're back. Thank God you're back, she exclaimed in the dream. However, Patrick's response, though unspoken, conveyed a profound message of understanding and acceptance. His words that came to me were, I know you love me, and that has nothing to do with it. Lisa revealed, interpreting it as a blessing from Patrick, assuring her that their love remained unchanged despite her readiness to embrace a new chapter in her life. As Lisa Niemi continues to navigate life after Patrick Swayze, her journey serves as a testament to enduring love and resilience. Despite facing criticism and judgment, she remains unwavering in her connection to Patrick while embracing the new chapter with her husband. Albert DePrisco, what are your thoughts on Lisa's story of love, loss, and finding love again? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content about Lisa Nimi's journey as she honors the memory of Patrick Swayze while embracing the present.